Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Hugo and today we're going to learn how to create an Azure Function app using classes and use as well Postman, which is this guy over here. See you around. Okay guys, so first thing first, let's open a browser and we're going to um, op uh, install actually uh, the Postman API client, which is this guy over here. Uh, to help us call the our function but this we're going to do later so we're going to install i'm going to leave all the uh, as usual all the um, links on the on the description so you guys can download so we're going to download postman and then we're going to also download the function which is the url i'm going in the description and this function it's going to uh it's where it's um we create a class which is called website and this class um, so the, fu the the function we're going to create the we're going to call we're going to call the function uh, websites and this code basically what it does this is going to call our body, our the, the request uh, is going to create objects, and then what's going to happen here is the JSON is going to deserialize our objects and uh, convert. And here we're going to have on the logs the ID, the name, and the URL, the information that basically we sent to the the function. Okay, very well. So now what we're going to do. We're going to create a new resource. This resource is going to be uh, Azure function. It's right over here. We're going to create a function. We, on our um, uh, resource group, is going to be called demo. Our function we call the function. So this is a unique name. So I'm going to put here HS, HS function app. Oh, already exists okay so let's call silver okay okay this doesn't exist great and um, going to put as a dotnet core because the code that we're using is dotnet core next okay next here the consumption so this is uh, for uh, we have uh, for more for security and uh, if you want uh, more uh, information or more megabytes we need to change the plan in this case we're going to use the the serverless the normal and depend as well the number of requests that we're going to do for each um, function but that's a completely different thing enable application insights okay it's fine we don't need to, but okay. Creates. So now this is going to take a while. We'll be right back. Okay, so now it's finished. So let's go to the resource. And we're going to create, uh, click here on the, what it says functions. And we're going to create another function which is going to be a HTTP trigger because this is what actually what we want for now. HTTP trigger, doesn't matter. Function, it's a function. Okay, so now we're going here to where it says code and test. We're going to our um, GitHub. We're going to get the code here. Okay, copy. Control V, and it's it's done. Now what we're going to do is just save, and we're going to test and run just to see if it works, and then we can do another tests on the um, on the postman. I'm going just to put here some the function 
and we're going to oh, post OK and run. And we're going to see the objects on the outputs, which is here. OK, so now we're going to do exactly the same thing, but now with the postman. So what we need to do. And one more thing that I forgot to mention is we have the response here and also the result here on the information. Why? Because we are, resist we are resisting this into the log. So what we need to do is to get the URL of this function. We are going here on the three dots, we're going to click in function, you're going to copy this to the clipboard and we're going to open Postman. So on the Postman's where it says get, we're going to copy this, we go here where it says body and we're going to copy again the, the post method that we have. Uh, sorry, we need to click in raw because we are putting everything in the, the same line and now send and we should have the same uh, answer uh, response which is here as you can see so we also can do uh, one thing which, which is for example uh, add more variables into our um, JSON to see what happens Let's put here country, for example, Ireland, and let's see what it, it does. Nothing, because it's not expecting any, um, when the JSON does a parse, it's not expecting, expecting any country. And <coughs> let's change here instead of, put here country instead of name, and let's see what it does. Oops, current. Entry. The name comes null because it couldn't find on my expression the the name. Okay, guys. This time, this one was really fast. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button, and uh, keep tuned. Uh, more stuff will come up uh, on code and how to do. See you around. Stay cool. Cheers.